Hey guys, it's Kizzy here, and Father's Day is just around the corner. And if you have no idea what to get your dad, your grandpa, your uncle, or someone who's like a father to you, then fear not, because I have something that's really quick and easy. I'm gonna be making these chocolate-covered strawberries, which are, by the way, sports-themed. So I'm sure your father, or someone who's just like your father, will love it. So why not check it out? So for utensils, you'll need a piping bag, a nozzle number three, some spoons, and you'll need this baking sheet, some parchment paper. You'll also need some cups for your for melting chocolate, or if you don't have any, use bowls. And I've got a bowl here for powdered sugar, a bowl here for some water, and we're gonna be doing our icing. Oh, don't forget your whisk too. So for ingredients, you're going to need some strawberries, duh, and then you're going to need um, some black food coloring if you're planning to make a basketball. You'll also need some chocolate, and here I've got some orange colored chocolate, milk chocolate, um, this, these are carob chips, which I might use, might not use, depends on how I feel. And I've also got some highlighter or really light green for my tennis balls. And if you're wondering what that white stuff was, that was just some shortening. Again, powdered sugar and some water for my icing to do the details. And that's pretty much it. Pretty easy. So first we're gonna be melting some chocolate. And as you can see here, I'm gonna see if I can get this focused. There you go. I've already got my milk chocolate melted. So we're going to start dipping our strawberries. This is how the strawberries look like when they're all dipped. So now you just want to set it aside or put it in the fridge to harden. And then we're going to start doing the details shortly after. So right now I've already completed some of the football and tennis balls and I will be attempting to do the other footballs. So when making your icing, you want to make sure um, that it's not too thick or too runny. Otherwise, as you can see from my tennis balls there, my icing was a little bit too thin. So in order to thicken it, just add more um, confectioner sugar. And if it's, again, too thick, then you want to add a little bit of water. I'm not exactly sure of the actual measurements, but for me, I just estimated, you know, once it gets to a right consistency, then It'll turn out like this. It'll look a lot better. It'll stay. It won't move around. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Really easy. So here's how they turned out, guys. <laughs> I didn't actually wait for some of them to harden because I had to rush a little bit. But if you wait for the royal icing to harden, then it'll turn out much better, trust me. Well, I hope you guys have a great Father's Day and happy baking! Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching my video, please like and subscribe. I will be posting more dessert recipes shortly. Stay tuned!